Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, we're pushing to 4,000 subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and thank you for all the support. So Barry Jackson said, Ethan is right, in my opinion. A couple of readers, including a very smart friend of mine, have emailed me saying they actually hope the Heat loses both playing games to convince the front office that roster must be changed significantly. I don't think quick out will be necessary to convince them. My thing about the Miami Heat, they failed Bam, Jimmy, and Tyler. They didn't put the proper roster around those guys. I know a lot of people are going to point to injuries and all these other different things, but we can't control injuries, and that's very unfortunate. But look, everyone says that Tyler Hero can't play defense. Why don't they put a proper point guard that plays defense next to him? I think Terry Rozier has been great, but he just got here now close to the end of the Jimmy Butler era. Same thing with Bam at a bio. They failed to really put their proper four next to him. Yeah, Haywood Heismith and Caleb Martin, they've had good moments at the four, but that's not their position. This Miami Heat team has lacked adequate size, rebounding, and talent. Now, when it comes to Jimmy Butler, they know he's not really going to try during the regular season, which is a shame, and they know he's going to miss a bunch of games. So why don't you put the proper role players around Jimmy, Bam, and Tyler, and especially Jimmy Butler, when you know he's not going to play that much? So whether you know we're in the play-in, a playoff spot, or we get bounced out in the first round, Something needs to be done with this Miami Heat roster going into the future. Let me know what does this Miami Heat team need? What are they missing? Do they need to trade Tyler, Jimmy? What is the missing piece for this Miami Heat team? What is going to help us to, you know, just get away from the playing tournament going into next season? I don't understand how a five year build is going on right now for the Miami Heat and we're in the playing tournament again. And I know that we're going to point to injuries, but we cannot use that as an excuse. The Knicks have injuries. The Cavs have injuries. There's a bunch of teams across the NBA that are dealing with injuries and have some of their best guys out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe.